Hey folks, welcome back to our Dice Tower Preview. I'm Mark, and today we're taking a look at the King's Tournament. The King's Tournament is brought to you by Baffled Genius Games. It's for two to four players, ages 13 and up, and games range anywhere from 45 to 75 minutes. The King has proclaimed a contest shall be held to establish a new champion. As a local noble, sponsoring the winning champion would earn you considerable royal notoriety. In this strategic card game, players use their noble influence to guide their sponsored characters incurring regal favor, initiating duels with their opponents, and conspiring against their rivals to determine the winner of the King's Tournament. To win the game, you must earn the favor of the King by advancing one of your characters from the starting white level of distinction through the red level and finally up to the blue level. Once one of your characters reaches this blue level of distinction, you have won the game. Now, setup on this one is easy and meant to get you in the game very quickly. You have some different decks here. You have the main King Tournament deck, you have Victory Point deck, and of course, the blue level of distinction cards for the ultimate champion in the game. Now, the thing here is that each player is going to receive seven cards from this King Tournament deck. You'll shuffle it up and deal them out. And then randomly, you will distribute two character cards to each player. Now these heroes have some different types of specialization. You have material and you have magical. And throughout the game, as you play weapon enhancers or cards that are related to magic, you will be able to do special things like draw cards and so forth based on the character and the character specialization. Now these characters also have two sides. You start with the white level of distinction, like we said, and on the flip side is the red level of distinction. And of course, all these different characters or heroes have their own special ability. And as you level them up, they will become even more powerful. Now this game is all about getting favor points. And there are different types of favor cards that you will be applying to any one of your characters or heroes. And as you acquire these cards and put them underneath, it really doesn't matter what type they are. You're really just interested in the number value related to these favor cards. You can get them from the King's Tournament deck or when you win battles or duels and you get a victory point card. So those are different ways you can get those. And when you achieve six, it will allow you to level up to that next level of distinction going from, again, from white to red to ultimately blue to win the game. So gameplay here is very straightforward. The very first thing you're doing is drawing a card off the top of the King's Tournament deck and then you're choosing a card to play. Now, you have four possible actions, but you can ever only perform one of these on your turn. And one of the main ones that you're gonna be doing probably a lot of is currying favor. Again, taking a look at those favor cards that you have in your hand, you will be placing them under one of your characters, trying to get to that ultimate goal of six points to level up. Or you might enter into an honor challenge, which is really just the duels of the game. And there are three main cards that you're gonna be using in these duels. They are attack, defend, and counter attack. So these cards are really crucial to everything you're doing in these duels. However, there are a series of enhancer cards. So as you play and as you spin those cards from your hand, you'll be going back and forth trying to win that battle, but there could be just a draw. If you attack and they successfully defend, but you can't continue the attack, then it's a draw and no penalties, you both draw back up to seven cards and the next player goes. But if you continue to attack back and forth and you win the battle, then the losing player will just be, step out of the ring and lose their favor points from their character, moving them to their discard pile. Now, the thing here is that there's all kinds of possibilities of how these duels can play out based on the different enhancers. I mean, there's weapon enhancers, and there's magic and spells, and there's even magical shields to help you. So however you play those combinations back and forth, but you will have to defend and then or counterattack, which is really handy as well. But playing those enhancers with these basic cards can really win you the day. And of course, when you are triumphant in these duels, you will then draw a victory point card and place it 
under your character, checking to see if it levels up to the next level, the red or blue distinction. So that's the basics there. But don't forget that all your characters or heroes have their own special abilities, so those might play into your battles as well. And always, at the end of the battle, each player will draw back up to seven cards. A couple of the cards worth mentioning that are neat is that there's a fully disengaged card that you could play in duels as well. And there's also a dragon that you can play that will basically annihilate your opponent, giving you an automatic win, and actually injuring your opponent where they'll have to turn the card sideways. But, like with all the cards in the game, there is a counter for this dragon as well. There's a prism cloak that can save the day if you happen to have it in hand. So again, with all these different specialty cards and all these duels and how you're going back and forth in this game, you will most likely have the opportunity at some point to counter attack or counter all those deadly cards coming your way. Or you might choose the conspire action. And this has three different cards basically that you can play here. You're gonna be playing poison on one of your fellow players. And the neat thing here is that if you're quick thinking, you can avoid this poison card being played on you if you discard three favor points, buying you the antidote. But there's also uh, humiliation. If you play humiliation on a fellow player, well, they are not going to be able to incur any favor in that next round. And there's also intimidate. If you intimidate a player, well, basically they're not going to be able to initiate any honor challenges as they're afraid. They've been intimidated, right? So that's how you conspire. Or you can just simply stand at attention, which means you can just take as many cards as you want, discard them, and draw back up to seven cards. And so that's the basics. But there are a ton of different cards in this game and a ton of different combinations of how you can put them together. There's even another dragon that can be that played out of duels and Lord of the Skies. So these cards can really change up what happens. They can actually affect all the players at the table and so forth. So, and there's a slew of different cards that you can just combine in those duels with special powers and special abilities and so forth. I like a lot of the spell cards are really neat. But again, your ultimate goal here is to level your character up to that level of blue distinction and win the game. All right, folks, just a reminder once again, this has been a Dice Tower paid preview and everything you've seen here has been in prototype form. So keep a close eye on the campaign for any changes that still may occur. Now with that said, this is a really fast playing game. We've played multiple hands of it back and forth. And I really like that exchange of that just quick card play, defend, attack, counter attack, so forth. That really worked well. And then of course, all the different enhancer cards and how you combine them really is neat. Some of the cards that you play in Conspire is pretty interesting as well, but I really like the duels in this game, the back and forth. But ultimately, folks, if this looks like a game that would be of interest to you, I'm sure they'd appreciate your support. So I think that's it for me, and until next time, we'll see you at the table.